Without ice, the Winter Olympics simply wouldn't happen. Skis wouldn't ski, skates wouldn't skate, and bobs wouldn't slay. But why not? What's so special about ice? And what is slipperiness, anyway? I'm Ross Exton, and this is the physics of slipping on ice. Slipperiness is all down to the amount of friction. When one surface rubs against another, that generates friction. And a rough surface like wood has more friction, and so can't easily slide across this table surface. But ice is far more smooth, so has less friction. That worked a little bit too well. But even something as smooth as ice, or the blade of an ice skate, has a rough surface on a microscopic scale. So there's still friction there. But that's not the whole story. On a winter's day like this, there's one thing that everybody instinctively does to keep their hands warm. The friction of rubbing your hands together on a cold day generates heat. Our thermal camera allows us to see this heat and the effects of friction. So here we have some infrared footage of our ice rink a few weeks ago. And here we can see these white lines spreading out from the back of the skates. And that's the heat generated by friction. Now this heat helps to melt the ice a little bit, which forms a thin layer of water for the skates to move along, which reduces the friction. But there's another piece to this puzzle. So to help us solve this puzzle, I'm here with Heather of the Life Science team. So Heather, why am I holding a can of beans? Well, Ross, we're going to do an experiment today where we're going to see how pressure melts ice. So you need a can of baked beans, a block of ice, and a guitar string. All we need to do for this experiment is to attach our baked bean cans to each end of the guitar string, place it over the block of ice, and wait. As the weight of the baked beans pulls on the wire, the resulting pressure of the string on the ice causes it to melt. But because the ice is still below zero degrees Celsius, it refreezes over the top of the wire. This weird phenomenon is called regulation. So here I've built an ice crystal. And these black bits are water molecules, and they're joined by something called a hydrogen bond. Now, if you apply pressure to the ice crystal, then these hydrogen bonds will actually break. Let's scale it up. So with this model, if we apply pressure to the crystal, the weak hydrogen bonds between the molecules will break and the crystal melts, just like with our experiment. Three, two, one. So it's a combination of temperature and pressure which causes the ice to melt, reducing the friction and allowing the skaters to slide on a thin layer of water before it instantly refreezes. So the Winter Olympics isn't just an example of human skill and endurance, it's physics in action. If you haven't seen our last Dancing on Ice videos investigating spinning and falling over, be sure to check those out. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be taking a look at some chicks hatching. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And thanks for watching.